Hello, this is Bonnie Rose from the Lynn Amsterdam Show, broadcasting from Canada, heard and seen worldwide. Hello, Vane. This is Turquoise Rose calling from Amarillo to do an exclusive interview for the Lynn Amsterdam Show. I'm sorry, Turquoise Rose, but Lynn has become a big star in Canada, and he doesn't have time for you today. Lynn Amsterdam has asked me to conduct this interview for Bonnie's request. Well, doesn't Lynn Amsterdam have a big head these days? Who the heck does he think he is? Well, I think he thinks he's Lynn Amsterdam. Give him a little slack. You know, millions of adoring fans may have inflated his ego, but Lynn really does have a heart of gold. Okay, Von A. Rose. Lynn Amsterdam must have some pretty good qualities to have such a sweetheart as yourself included in the Fabulous Four. Let's do this then. Ask me those hard-hitting questions. Well, okay, let's get right to those hard-hitting questions. Turquoise Rose, what does making music mean to you? I've got to be honest here and say that for me, it means the difference between sanity and insanity. I really have no choice. It's a compulsive behavior. I'm sorry to say, I wake up most every morning with a song idea, and it's a rare day that goes by without some sort of writing and singing in it. To me, it's like eating, sleeping, and breathing. It just comes naturally, and I love it to pieces. Who are your influences? Mm, uh, there have been so many uh, influences over the years. Uh, I really must say I'm impartial, because if anybody's music touches me in some way, <clears throat> then I'm pretty much influenced. But some of the ones that stand out right now are uh, Loretta Lynn, Patsy Cline, Olivia Newton-John, Dolly, The Beatles, Stevie Nicks, Hart, uh, Faith Hill, Sarah Evans, uh, Willie Nelson, of course, George Jones, The Judds, Barbara Mandrell, Trisha Yearwood, uh, Carrie Underwood, Nora Jones, and uh, I like Keith Urban a lot. Not just his looks, he's got great music. What do you think of the wonderful wide web? The wonderful wide web. Uh, it's exciting, awesome, massive, and definitely a great tool. I feel that most of us wouldn't stand a chance in the music industry without it. It opens the doors that connect us to each other. I'm confident that uh, other indie artists are as grateful as I am to Lynn for putting the world at our fingertips. All you young people out there right now listening who have music in your heart and in your soul should take this opportunity and run with it because life's too short to waste a minute. What is important to you in this life? Oh boy, Von A., that's a loaded question. I could write a book on this subject, but long story short, I'd have to say the love of God, family, and friends. Being the best person I can be, that's important. Getting to do what I love to do, that's really important. Striving to walk the walk for God's glory and not mine, and that's sometimes impossible but very important. And staying a alive long enough to pick and enjoy some of the fruits of my labor, that would be wonderful. Who produces your recordings? Up to now, they've been pretty much recorded using home studio software like Intrack. Um, if it weren't for some very good, talented musician friends of mine, however, helping me out, I wouldn't even have uh, what I have in the way of songs to show today. So I'd like to take this opportunity to give a great big sincere thank you to James Ray Richardson, Bill Craig, Will Jacobs, and Robert Hopkins, who are not only wonderful musicians in their own right, but also singer-songwriters uh, as well. What do you think makes for a good song? What makes for a good song? A lot of things make for a good song, but uh, what comes to me right now is a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and, and the, the ones that you can relate to. You know, if you can relate to it, it's a good song. If it touches your heart, like I said earlier, it's a, it's a good song. What do you think it means to be an independent artist? Well, Von A., seeing how I was born on the 4th of July, I'd have to say that being an independent to me means having the right to record your music in your own way. There seems to be too many restrictions and limitations in the music industry these days. And being an independent means having the freedom of choice. But, let me add here that if the right opportunity presented itself to sign with a label, I for one would probably have to think about it uh, for at least a millisecond. We want to thank Turquoise Rose for dropping in with us today here at the Lynn Amsterdam studio. We'll definitely be spinning half a woman 
and your great song, Family, on the Bonnie Rose Request Station. Any last words you'd like to say to the folks out here listening today, Turquoise Rose? Thanks a million, Vonnie, for taking Lynn's place today. You gave a great interview. And a big Texas yee-haw to Lynn Amsterdam for helping to make indie artist dreams come true. You are our hero, even if you do have a big head. Just kidding, Lynn. Also want to thank all you country music lovers in Canada and around the world today. Keep your hearts and ears open to the Lynn Amsterdam Show, where country rocks. Will be.